a show that has defied the odds at every kind of obstacle, it feels like. As the final run of the show appears to be happening, at this point, do you actually believe it might end? Or are you kind of still the mindset that, no, there's still more life to come? For me, it's like I have to act like it's the end because uh, it's just too much, like, for me to get my hopes up or, you know, like, it's just, it's just like, if you act like the end, uh, you can mourn it, you know, and then if something good happens, then great, but like, it just had, I, I don't know, it's, it's just, I've kind of been mentally preparing since season one, when I was like, we're only going to do one season, and that'll be it, um, I've kind of been like, it's going to be really hard when this finishes, um, so buckle up and sure enough it's yeah it's really hard Tim and I were just talking about you know it, it's it's hard and uh for me it's like if I act like that's it then at least there's some kind of especially right now during COVID when everything is uncertain like we have no sense of certainty and peace I like I just need to act like I have one answer so for me, it's been really important, maybe even more important in the context of 2021 to say it's over. If it's not, great, but let's act like it is, I guess. Yeah, I mean, in a lot of ways too, I was kind of, I don't know why I was preparing even when we were filming, because mm -hmm. I mean, it took us almost five and a half years to, to finally film that second half of season four. Yeah, uh, you know, so it just I just remember and it was, you know, we were one of the first, if not the first television production back in Canada meant COVID, you know, it was just such a time that I just remembered, you got to try and take all this in because this might be it. It, it, re it really might be it. Um, and then also, I'm super proud of, the, of, of what we've done over the four years. So that helps uh, a lot yeah in saying goodbye um I, i'm down always you know emily knows man call me tomorrow i'm like all right i just saw go a mustache or whatever i'll play a freaking i don't care a bird uh, i'll do it <laughs> you know what i mean uh i'm down for whatever but at some time i'm kind of like mel yeah you have to make peace within your soul because the, the other thing is like i also the toughest part is there's other great roles and i've been fortunate to play them but Whew, man, it's going to be a minute before I get a Doc Holiday against a uh -huh. Winona. I'll tell you that much. And uh, you know that. Yes. Uh, yeah, you know, it's a, uh, but I'm also very grateful, you know, I'm very grateful. Four seasons is not nothing. <laughs> it's, and we have four incredible seasons of television with a fandom that hopefully will continue to go on without the show. If that's the end. So that's all that really matters. What can you actually preview about that final installment? And is it a cliffhanger or do you feel like it gives resolution to the story? I mean, I think both. What do you think? It's like I keep saying, I don't know. I can't, I'm not sure exactly how people will take it, but I liked it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that should be the title of the article i i like it you know yeah is there anything you can tease about the episode itself i i think fans will be very satisfied with the finale <laughs> um for various reasons yeah I, I mean it's funny because like it's the finale but at the same time it's like it's an episode of Wynonna Earp yeah yeah and that's the best compliment you can give it what are they going to feel the same thing they feel with every episode they're going to laugh they're going to cry they're going to be mad they're going to be happy it's Wynonna Earp 